Well, hello you there on the other side of the screen. Welcome back to Nana's Apartment. We're going to be jumping back into the summer of SmackDown today with SmackDown 2. We're going to be doing a Hell in a Cell match. This always looks like Vector Man to me. <laughs> Reminds me of Vector Man, rather. See, I wanted to do a Hell in a Cell match because this is one of the first match types really advertised with the games. One of the first things I saw advertised with the games. And, you know, huge Mick Foley fan. Why the hell would I not want to play Hell in a Cell? And, well, you'll see why it was a little lackluster, but anyway. Wanted to do this with Cactus Jack, but my memory card's broken. You have to do, a, like, practically a full season to unlock him, and I was like, not nah, gonna try and figure out the logistics of that right now. We'll just feature Mick Foley as Mankind. It's the same dude. Doesn't really matter. Doodle of pun intended. One cell. Is this on? Same thing, I wanted to fight for the title, but I can't really change any titles around without a memory card, so we'll just have Triple H ask. It doesn't really matter. You just have the title over his shoulder, which we've seen before with the tag team matchup here on the Summer Smackdown with the Hardy Boys. The character model does not look bad here. Probably one of the best Triple H character models of all time. Just the face looks so good. It's, it's for a game that's so old and so shit, like, you would assume that they would look a lot worse. So my goal here today, there are panels here in this Hell in a Cell match, which first of all, you will notice is not really a true Hell in a Cell, it's just a cage with a top on it. But anyways, you can climb it, you can get on top of it and put your opponent through it, so who the hell cares if it's not outside the ring? I would love to see a match like this anyway, though with a ca cage top, that would have been interesting to see how they, they managed that. But anyway, I was in my hometown, uh, there was a, I don't know if it was a movie gallery or what, it wasn't a blockbuster, uh, it was some type of mom and pop type of rental store, whatever. They had one of those TVs in the background, which is why it makes me feel like it was Movie Gallery. It's either that or like a Hollywood video or something. Um, it's a Movie Gallery vet myself. I don't believe it was Movie Gallery. Anyway, in the background they had playing the trailer for this game. And, you know, I saw like Scotty Too Hotty and like all that shit. And it's like, oh my god, I saw the Hell in a Cell. I nearly died and that Christmas. I, I got it. I got I got this game in my PlayStation. That was, that was a good morning for old Paul there. Oh, and I can't. Okay, so my goal here will be to, to try and get all these sides out. <laughs> Triple H, come back here with that. I want to hit you with it. You can obviously, as Triple H has demonstrated for it, you can use the, the panels to hit your opponent with, but I'll try to go through the top after I get all the side ones. That'll be my objective. I guess you can bring him in the ring now, too. Oh, and he hits me with it. Go figure. Again, you can't have blood, but you can have plenty of destruction in this one. I wanted to do Cactus Jack because obviously they're no way out match, but again, no memory card, can't, can't deal. Yeah, I remember seeing this trailer for SmackDown 2, and again, the jump up from SmackDown 1 with, uh, as far as gameplay, match types, and all that stuff, all the variations that they came up with between the two. Oh, this is such an amazing game to come out. I always feel like Mick Foley kind of looks like a Muppet in this game, though. There's something about his face. I'm talking about how good Triple H looks, it's like I... I feel like Mick Foley always gets a weird uh, set of... Ah! God. He always gets weird character models. Everything just looks slightly off. It's in that uncanny valley of, like, what looks off? I can't put my finger on it. And I think it's just the way his mask usually looks on his face, how it's animated. I don't want to do that. I think you have to strong grapple them through the, the cage. That's two! <laughs> I think there are four, I believe. Yeah, one, two, three, four, okay. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> That's three! <laughs> Let's see if we can throw them off through the announce table or something like that. Again, like all the original SmackDown 1 gameplays, uh, SmackDown 1 and 2, uh, Nana's apartment, I don't. I want to win, but if I do not, it is okay. I do not go into this match expecting to win. I just want to highlight some of the features. That's that's it. Obviously, you want Mick Foley to win because we're the Foley mark here on this apartment, but whatever. If you look at Foley's uh, character models through the years, the one that always jumps out is WF Attitude just because it's something weird. I think it's his legs. <laughs> see if I can break it myself. I cannot. Ah, God. Get away. Does he animate the mandible claw on this? I'm not sure. That's the thing. Ugh. Pile driver. Of course he's fucking... How did... I'm trying to figure out how... 
Triple H sailed through that, yeeted himself through the first one. I can't manage to do it. I feel like there's some bend to the animation here. It's just, it looks like shit, but... <laughs> Oh, he's trying to get a strong grapple there again through the... Oh, if I could just get up there. Here we go. Come on. There we go. That should be number... Th there we go. Now we can go on top of it. All right. Not that you couldn't before, but... Wanted to get that. See, uh, Mick Foley... Let's see, Triple H knows. He's like, come up here, Mick. I know what you want. I don't think these are as good as they used to be, so... Oh, man to the claw. You can't give up though, so that's good. <laughs> He's gonna put me through the top. You watch it, which is fine because it's Foley. <laughs> if you're anyone getting put through the top of the cell by your opponent, <laughs> is he gonna be a pedigree though? Oh, you have to be like dead center too, which is the, the funny. Can he pin me on top of the cell? I know he pinned Jericho that way. I believe. But yeah, the pain in the ass here clearly is getting the getting. Getting them on target here with the the cell. He, wrapped, he comes up to me this way. Ah, oh, of course. Oh. So let's see if he comes up to me just the right approach, I might be able to do it. Oh, maybe. Oh, come on. I'm staying in the corner of it here. I'm trying to just power slam him through it. Oh, this could be it. No. It's nail biting. I hate that it's so nail biting, but it is. Oh God. I don't. Again. You go. Okay, so... No! Oh, no! Oh, oh there aren't any announce tables anyway. Oh, there's no way you're sailing that far. Why is... Okay. I was trying to see if... There was even a prayer you could grapple someone or something like that. Yeah, so if he, if he goes... If you just do that... He only goes as far as there. Okay, so. You can't, you can't put him through the damn announce table. He just pauses there. I don't know why he's pausing there. It's like a broken thing. I feel like this is a glitch. Yeah, I couldn't move. That's weird. Triple H just a taunting me. Get over here, you putts. We're going through this damn thing. Yeah, that's right. Taunt him. Get that finisher up. He does slowly do it. Ugh. Nope. No. There we go. Oh, dead center. Not even. What? Pile driver through it. Power. Oh, we'll do that. We'll power bomb him through it. There's no way that will not work. Ah, no. Stop. Oh, that looks perfect. Oh. I think it's a down grapple. No. Oh, well, that did it. Whatever the hell. Count it. No, <laughs> I'm doing a one count on Triple H after going through the top of the cell. Whatever the hell move we did. Power, that's what I was going for. Oh, Mandible Claw will take him down for a rest. Taking Triple H out of this gameplay. We'll call it good night. There we go, 7 minutes 16. Hell in a cell for SmackDown 2. Call that one a day and put it in the books. Mac Foley's walking away here. Well, his career still intact, and he's having a nice day. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here in Nana's apartment for this feature of the Hell in a Cell on SmackDown 2. And we will see you next time.